How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. I want to make a few comments on the idiocies that people are talking about me online. I'm a pathological liar, which is total crap. They can't understand why it takes so long to clean my apartment. Uh, my right shoulder got injured in the fall years ago. The rotator cuff never got repaired. It hurts like hell. I can't lift it higher than this right now. My right hand get, goes numb. My left hand goes numb. My left foot is numb. Half the foot is numb, full of fluid. The right, left ankle is numb and full of fluid, and there's fluid up to my kneecap. The right ang right, uh, the right side of the left ankle, it was when it's injured. The uh, right knee was in twice injured in a fall in two falls last year. That knee has to be replaced. The left knee is now injured. I don't clean because I spent. Four months in bed screaming with my sciatic nerve causing problems to have two crushed discs in my spine. And really, if I don't, if I take a long time to clean my apartment, it's because I do certain things, I can feel the pain in my back because my spine's pressing on the two crushed discs and the sciatic nerve is pressing on my legs and I can't stand because it hurts too damn much to stand. I go wind up being in bed, which is where I've been for four months. Oh yeah, also, <clears throat> right now, my voice is hoarse. I spent too much time on Skype last night talking to military justice in Saskatchewan and I got sick from it because I was out here for too long. So I have health issues. If you don't like that, too bad. It t I, I tend to throw things in boxes. There's a lot of laundry that needs to be washed and I haven't been able to wash because I haven't had the money because my bank kept overdrawing my second banking account constantly for four months. I've closed the account laundry will get done, our Prius key, we get it tomorrow, we'll have our car again. Kathy has an apartment, Boop has a place to live, and she's happy, but she's going nuts from boredom with no TV, no internet, no computer, nothing, no movies to watch, because everything is in storage. And I want to thank certain people for saying they won't post in the thread in Belgam, and another person doesn't seem to realize that I don't want anything to do with them. And I hope a third person, I'm not going to mention names, but he apparently left the site because uh, he was accused of collusion. This is what I was told, but I was thoroughly bummed out on the whole idea of that site. I'm doing the best I can with what I got on a limited budget and a limited income. And um, Right now, for next month, I'm 200 bucks in the hole. I had to borrow money from someone to help pay the rent, because that's how bad behind I was. So, you know, I talk about politics or whatever I find interesting. There wasn't much interest. Horrible subject today, the KKK was in Anaheim, and a Jewish man saved them from being killed. One, one KKK member was stabbed and was bleeding to death. There's no, no excuse for the KKK in this society. There's no, no excuse for hate in this society. I hate stupid people. I hate stupidity. I hate comments from people who don't know anything about me other than what they see in the videos or what I've posted. They wouldn't bother to come over to my house and talk to me man to man or woman to man if their life depended on it. Now, I did a lot of cleaning this week, and I'm going to do a little bit. I mean, my lower back starts hurting, and I have to sit, lie down or sit in bed. And I found out last night I can't sit up. It hurts. Brain length of time, so i got to lie down, elevate my feet, and put ice in my feet when the, my left foot fills up full of fluid. So I'm out here at Starbucks probably for the last time for a while because I'll have my internet back tomorrow in the house. And then I'm going to go over to Kathy. She's going to have the car. We're going out to dinner. If you don't like the fact I'm going out to dinner too bad, there's an all-you-can-eat buffet with crab legs and all kinds of stuff. And for once, I'm going to have one dinner where I don't eat out of a damn can or something beeps at me. And uh, so she'll have the car. She's got to get new tires in the car, $285 for a new, new key because... Toyota decided the second key only opens the door. They changed that in later models, and as soon as we can, we sell this Prius, we get a better Prius. <coughs> and I just made a little money off one of my online accounts for my YouTube videos. 
and people have been donating money to me, little dribs and drabs, and I appreciate it. It's all going to sit in my PayPal account, and I'm going to let it build up. I'm not going to buy anything on eBay with it. I'm just going to let it sit until it's like 100 bucks, and then I'll transfer it from my account into my savings. But, you know, I'm getting too old for the crap. These people who think they know everything and who don't know shit from shine oil, as my father used to say. I've got stuff to put away, I've got stuff to put in storage still. I'm going to get into storage space for the stuff that I want to keep, but it's taking up too much room in my apartment. All I got to do right now in the apartment is do laundry, put the laundry away, finish vacuuming one hall area, vacuum the, the, the bedroom entry area on the floor, clean the kitchen up, clean the bathroom. I'm done cleaning. That's it, once the laundry's put away. And I have a problem that Fuzzy Cat has taken over my couch cushion. It was sitting in the bedroom, it fell over. She sleeps on there 24 hours a day. And she's so sweet and cute, I don't have the heart to take the couch cushion away from her. So I'm gonna have to do that when I vacuum. But, uh, you know, people were wishing me dead on that site and everything else. Screw you. You know, I'm a survivor. I was wished dead on SF Red Book for years, and I'm still here. In pain, not having good days, sinus infections, I get bronchitis, I have, I'm allergic to grass, and these stupid white flowering trees are all over the place. Oh, another thing, somebody commented about me complaining about trucks going down the road. It's not that I complain about the trucks, and they're noisy. And I'm trying to do a video. And I also can't understand, seven o'clock comes, Starbucks closed up. The only thing open around here are restaurants and bars and one liquor store. There's nothing to it. I see joggers and everything else. I'm always amazed. San Francisco, I expect that. But people aren't walking their dogs. I must have seen 12 pit bulls one night. I didn't realize there were any pit bulls in, in downtown Martinez. So anyway, going home. <clears throat> have some hot tea with lemon and honey and uh, take some stuff down to the car and get ready for them to come by tomorrow and give me the new key for the car and then Kathy will come and get the car. So and then I'll be doing videos in my apartment and in April I'll get my Mac fixed and I'll have the money to get my internet back up and running. I'm paying Comcast for internet on this iPad. And the other devices, I found my iPhone, so now I can be on three devices at once to play a game I like. And I'm, you know, I'm happy. You don't like the fact that I'm happy. You don't like the fact that I'm doing what I want, fine. You don't like that I f talk about Donald Trump, fine. I'm convinced Trump's going to get the nomination. Trump's going to be our next president. He's going to kick ass and take names. So, you find that boring? Don't watch my videos. But shut the hell up about it. And quit making stuff like that idiot Shreddy Varstar, who doesn't know anything. You could take every post he has and put him in a shredder, and it wouldn't amount to one word worth of reading. There's some other people on there, feared boys of bugs and everything else. Yeah, I said I wouldn't talk about Belgab, but I posted today because the idiot said, oh, I'm wearing pajamas in public. Well, I got news for you people. Women wear pajamas constantly in public now. I've only seen one guy do it, but they go into Starbucks wearing their pajamas. It's something that's done. They went to the theater and wore pajamas to movies. But I'm not wearing pajamas. I'm wearing a blue, nice shirt that I got to button up. It was my next to the last clean shirt, unless I wear my autographed Robert Vaughn, what would Napoleon Solo do shirt? And I don't want to do that because it's autographed Magic Mark. I'm going to frame it one day. So this is my nice blue shirt. And when I get home tonight, once I have had lubricated my throat with honey and lemon and tea, then I'm going to go do a load of laundry. So I have some clean clothes to go out with tomorrow. So, um, that's the deal there. And I'll be happy to do videos in the light where I can see what the hell I'm doing. All right, have a great night. <coughs> Trump gave a huge speech today in uh, Florida. Super Tuesdays tomorrow. And Rubio, 
the establishment candidate is desperate and Cruz is desperate, they're both gonna lose. They'll be relegated to the dustbin of history when we have a President Trump. And I've seen him come and go. And I'll tell you one thing, the Republican base is sick and tired of people who lose and they think Trump's gonna be a winner and so do I. All right, and uh, one other thing, the guy who left uh, that site, I hope he's well, I wish him well. And he knows who it is. And nobody hacked my site or his site or our devices or our computers. Not that I couldn't figure out a hack a computer if I wanted to. But I got other things that are far more important. You hire someone to hack something if you want to. Um, I used to be an old software hacker years ago for Apple II games. I knew how to do that. All right. Have a great night. I'll see you probably Thursday because I got stuff to do tomorrow and my back doctor appointment on thir on Thursday. So I'll do a video Thursday night from my apartment. So I'm taking two days off to go get stuff done. See you later. Bye bye.